How do we use art to tap into our heart's desire? Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm so happy that you've joined me for another episode of Extraordinary Women TV, where we learn how to put our dreams into action. My first guest is Sandra Roberts. She is the CEO of Pi Media Group and the editor-in-chief and publisher of Pi Magazine, an affordable luxury lifestyle publication. Well, Sandra Roberts, welcome to the show. It's so nice having you here today. Thank you. I'm glad you invited me to be here. Now, you are a woman who wears a lot of hats. You're a publisher, you're an editor, um, you're a creative director, you actually produce fashion shows. How do you do it all? Um, <laughs> I guess then sleeping to uh, to dream. <laughs> I like I'm you know I have a great dynamic team of people that I've selected to be a part of the production and you know great uh, organizational skills and a multifaceted team of people that I can call on from photographers, makeup artists, hair team, writers, and I also like love working with people that are leaders in the field um, and those that are up and coming. So it's really exciting to like always you know, get uh, really intrinsic motivation from, you know, different walks of life and different art forms to make it happen. <laughs> now, your background, you, you began as a creative director, is that correct? Yes, yeah, yeah in the magazine. Um, yeah, like, well, the background started in hospitality, actually, so I think that that's been the, pa the true passion for the publishing industry, you know, um, the publishing of a magazine always means there's a final product, which means there's a party, so both hand in hand have been quite passionate for me. So let's let's talk about what is Pi Media Group and how did it come? How did you come up with the name Pi? <laughs> Pi Media. It's kind of cliche, I guess. It's like the piece of the pie, so to say. Yeah. Um, I think what happened. Like I had another magazine before called a Magazine, and it was emerging of artists from around the world. It was very driven by MySpace and underground fashion and music and art. And then the talking of the recession in 2000, late 2008, 2009 sort of made me realize that, you know, there had to be a new way to market yourself. So with the Pie Magazine, it was the piece of the pie, so we did everything from, you know, piemagazine.tv with the video component, as well as creating ad campaigns, giving people an opportunity to sort of like uh, work with the team to direct how they're seen in the publication. So the piece of the pie and then the exclusivity, like if you're... Um, you know, in the magazine, then you have an exclusive piece of the in, of in your industry in the magazine. Now, so. your magazine is it's it's very cool. It's uh, it's Thanks. really a unique. Well, what makes it so unique? I think it's the diversity of like being able to attract both men and women, and it's a lifestyle magazine. It's very Canada centric, which I think is really important to the publication. Um, you know, we interview celebrities like you know, Hugh Hefner, Arlene Dickinson, Kim Cattrall. Dan Aykroyd, and then alongside, we'll also feature like up-and-coming Canadian leaders in, in in their industry and in their field. And I think that we touch on so many different topics, and you know, some are political, you know, some are just art, and some are just awesome fashion. You know, that it's kind of like eye candy, and then there's good stories and eye candy. So I think that makes it a little more unique that it touches on so many different um, facets of life. But the, the, your magazine is so beautiful to look at too. Mm. I mean the, the photography is, is stunning and you have your hand in, in, in styling it. I love being on set for photo shoots. Like I, I think that's the, the true passion for me is the tangibility of the product um, and I love being on set. I had the opportunity to work with some very world-class photographers so you know just to see how the art form comes together and then how people like in that type of a team, um, just you know, thrive off of each other's energies to create a photograph, and then you know the the post production, and then actually getting the photo um, in my inbox is like Christmas morning. It's like a gift. It's like you know, I, I really love to be hands on on you know ninety five percent of what goes on in the publication for sure. What what has been your experience in it, getting this this publication off the ground successfully? Because it started in a time where businesses were changing and evolving, and I sort of changed and evolved with the businesses to seek out their needs. That you know, I think that that's made it a little um, easier for me in my approach, where I never had to restructure the company before two thousand and nine. Um, I 
I do have an app, so I have been really working on, you know, getting people to download the app or get, sorry, getting them the resources to, you know, to know how to download the app as well, because then that's worldwide. A lot of my distribution is hotel room distribution, um, you know, a lot of charity events that I do, like with Sick Kids Hospital and Gilda's Club, so a lot of goodie bags, a lot of donations in that way. So the distribution of the magazine has made it appealing for people to want to be in and be a part of the publication, and as well, they have like a very hands on because I'm the publisher, the advertising director, the creative director, the art director, when they want to be a part of the magazine they deal with me. So we can really um, develop the image that they want within the publication which I think has been um, the best supporting, um, you know, the best supporting trick to the trade so to say for me in the publishing industry. What is your dream uh, for it? Where would it go from here? I'm really, well right now I'm working on an edition that's destination and swimwear, so it's, it, the dream is, is always, like it's always changing and I'm always living my dream, like I always do what I want to do and feature, you know, the people and select the team that I want to work with, so this, I'm actually living the dream for it right now and it's evolving, so right now it's evolving into destination, so a little more travel, um, you know, always profiling leaders in the field, like I said, I love that. Um, and yeah, the swimwear edition has already brought me to Turks and Caicos, Costa Rica, and it looks like I we're off to you, Mexico. <laughs> you've got a great tan. You were just yeah, uh, I was trying to. South. I was trying not. I was trying to hide that a little. <laughs> yeah, the Turks and Caicos was beautiful beaches. So to go there and shoot an editorial, um, you know, with Corby Banner and see, you know, you know, just sort of see how that comes together and sort of challenge, you know, some of the challenges of taking your team out of the country has been very exciting, and that's a dream come true in itself. Now you also um, you produce fashion shows as well. This is something that uh, that you do. Yeah. Where, where do you find the time to do all this energy? <laughs> this is amazing. But tell us about your fashion shows. Okay, I mark them as fashion theater. So okay, great. they're fashion shows, but like I'm merging designers, like um, you know, top designer Canadian designers and international designers with you know inspiring younger designers as well. You know, there's always an element of like live music, burlesque. Um, a little avant-garde and mainstream in one show. Um, the, tic the shows that I've done, like generally tickets are around $100, so it structures it to be like appealing to a certain clientele and um, the shows are generally 100 to 125 models or not models, real people from real estate agents to politicians to even having the designers wearing their own clothes in the shows. So, you know, the fashion shows are a huge inspiring moment for me because I can get everybody together from advertisers you know to contributors my graphic designer my models my friends my mother all in one room and then you know stimulate their brain for a night and really sort of bring it up bring the whole the whole pie culture together in one room so that's it's a very important part of the company for me. So you brought a lot of aspects of the visual arts together in a really innovative way do you love what you do? I love it I love it this is this is, that's why I'd be like, I don't know how you do it. Where do you find the time? Blah, blah, blah. Well, this is what I do. I love it. Like, I don't, you know, I work with my friends. Um, a lot, like, I do make friendships, um, you know, with the people that I work with. So it's not work, so to say. You know, it's like we hang out, we do a photo shoot. You know, we'll go for dinner and we'll write an article about the restaurant. Like, it's, it's wonderful life. Now, Sandra, um, we're going to take a quick break, and it's my Good to Know Minute, and I know you've got a great success tip. <laughs> I think my favorite success tip that I'd like to share is, you know, building relationships. And I think the most important thing in any business, especially with the, you know, the evolution in success in companies in the last couple of years, is building relationships and business partners, not just doing business or working together, but working together so that everybody has a common goal. Everybody gets something you know, equally beneficial out of what we're doing. And I think with Pi Magazine, the reason that I've had such a long-standing team of people and attracting new people to the team is that we're, you know, continually looking to see what we can do together as a team that's equally beneficial and rewarding. Perfect. Love it. That's <laughs> good to know. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, more on Extraordinary Women TV. So stay where you are. Welcome back to Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner and I'm speaking with Sandra Roberts, CEO of Pi Media Group. Um, I'm really enjoying this time with you now. 
uh, your, your good to know minute, uh, your success tip is interesting. Now let's talk about um, part, strategic partnerships and how important that that really has been for you in, in your success. It's been tremendously important. You know, it's you know I have new people that are jumping on board right now, like Shauna Ireland, um, who's put together a team of people to shoot in Paris, like Mary Trippy and that team. And you know, it's been really exciting for me to focus more on the marketing and you know client relations, and you know have people like and also like Dan Lim, and the list goes on of people that I can trust to execute amazing photo shoots in line with my vision now that I can, that I can clearly share with people what it is um, just to build and grow the magazine. Now, now you, you refer to your, oh, you've, you've, got, you've referred to the magazine as a bookazine right. as well. So, mm -hmm. But that's something that sets it apart from, it, from, from others. So what is a bookazine? It, it's been a bookazine actually since like the very, like since I registered the business name, like, you know, I think that was in like 2005 or something. Um, it's the format of it being a magazine and a book. So there's no dates, there's no seasons, and it's in part. So I think that's been a part of, you know, the attraction for people to want to be in the magazine as well. And then it's a collector's item. So, you know, because like I'm a magazine junkie, so if I see a magazine that says July or August or September and I'm in that month, I'm like, that's old news, but it's so current. So I think the bookazine format gives it just a little a more longevity, you know, a, sh a longer shelf life and, you know, a really good story that's not dated or seasoned. So what do you think of the future is for uh, digital media in terms of uh, publishing? Well, it's, it's changing very, mm. very fast. You know, a lot of magazines that have been printing for decades are going completely digital. Um, I think everybody has a magazine in their hand at all times through their iPhone or their iPad. It's an, it's an awesome tool. And I, I remember saying, oh, I want to have a job where I can work on the beach, you know, and that's my office. And now I do. And while you're on the beach, you know, you have your office in your hand, you have your magazine and everything. Like, I think that digital, digital media is a forerunner, but there's, it's only gossip that print is dead. I mean, print is, print is a, is a, is a, it's a, it's a luxury. It's a, you know what I mean? People want to see the reflection of the light in a photograph, in a printed book or a magazine. You know, they want to have it on their coffee table, put it on their shelves and, you know, and enjoy it in a hotel room while you've got your feet up in a bed or in a hammock. You know, sometimes you want, don't want to have your technology in your hand. So it's, it's definitely a powerful tool and it's changing, it's changing print media fast. Now, I think that that's a perfect place to, to end, uh, and unfortunately, we have run out of time. But Sandra, I've really enjoyed this time with you and, and hearing more about what you're doing, and thank you for being here and sharing your message, and I certainly wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> for more information about Extraordinary Women TV and my guests and to watch past episodes, I invite you to visit the website at ExtraordinaryWomenTV.com, and I'd love to stay in touch with you Join me on Twitter for an empowering stream of Extraordinary Women TV updates. On Facebook, we can connect at Extraordinary Women TV. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm Shannon Skinner. See you soon.